Welcome to a demonstration of ProStat's advantage from Health Professions Education Solutions. ProStat's advantage works by using a series of fields attached to the student name to sort the students into beginning academic year, beginning cohort, graduation cohort, and graduating pathway or track. The statistics and calculation fields, using a series of checkboxes, adds a numerical equivalent to the student's progression in the program. The demographic fields maintain the demographic information for each student and uses this information to calculate student demographics by cohort. The student information tracking fields provide additional information regarding the student's time in the program. To begin, click on the Student Tracking Form button to access all of the students included in ProStats Advantage. The form will show all of the students in your program in the top section and the individual student record in the bottom section. You can find a student using the scroll bar on the right to migrate through the student list then by clicking the student name. You will see the student's information that you selected in the bottom half of the form. You can also locate a student by clicking on the Find a Student by Last Name button, enter the last name and hit Enter. The student's information will be shown in the bottom section. You can also import a list of students into ProStats. This topic is covered in more depth in an additional video. For this demonstration, I have imported 20 students that began our program in the fall of 2022. We are now ready to add additional information for these students. We have imported a new cohort and need to complete their information by adding their demographic information. To add demographic data to this cohort, click on the Demographics Clinical Information button to begin. Click on the Beginning Cohort Demographics button. Enter the Beginning Cohort designation that we are working with. The new cohort with all of the students listed opens. Here we will add the student's ethnic and racial composition. The number of the students in this cohort has been calculated as well as the average age of this cohort. Their ages have been calculated based on the birthdays that were imported. Their gender has also been added at import. The gender makeup of this cohort has also been calculated showing count as well as percentage of the cohort. At this point all we need to add is their ethnic and racial composition. For racial composition, there are seven options listed in the drop-down. You can select from the drop-down, or simply type in the first letter of the racial composition that you wish to assign and ProStats Advantage will auto-fill the rest. We have 20 students in this new cohort. You can quickly add the racial composition for each student using the methods provided. When finished, click Save to update the statistics calculations at the bottom of the form. To add the ethnic composition to this new cohort, check the checkboxes under the Ethnic Composition field selecting the appropriate box. You can quickly add the ethnic component to the individual student's demographic data by simply going down the list in this new beginning cohort. When finished, click Save. Notice that the demographic statistics have been calculated and are shown at the bottom of the form. This information remains attached to the individual student as they progress through the program. This allows the demographic information to be calculated by both beginning cohort as well as graduating cohort. We have entered the new cohort and the students are progressing. We have reached the point to where we need to record a few withdrawals. Click on the Withdrawal Readmit Data Entry button. Enter the beginning cohort designation to open the list and to begin recording withdrawals and readmissions. The first student to withdraw is Sheldon Cooper. We enter the semester he exited into the first exit field. We have confirmed that Sheldon will be readmitting into the Spring 23 term. So we record Spring 23 in the first re-entry field. We also need to check the checkboxes for withdrew and readmitted. 
We enter the same information for other students in the same situation, such as Ben Myers. Another withdrawal is Betty Smith. We record her exit. However, Betty is undecided on readmission into the program. We record her exit and check the box for withdrawal omitting any readmission data. Click Save to finalize the calculations. To record additional information regarding a student's withdrawal, click on the magnifying glass next to the student's name. Record the first exit date. You can also select the first exit reason. The options are academic, personal, and other. You can also input any additional information regarding the student's exit in the tracking note field. Any information you may need to assist you in the tracking of this student and their time in your program. Click Save and Close when finished. We have reached the one-year period for this cohort and now need to record 12-month retention. Check the checkboxes under 12-month retention for the students that have reached the 12-month point. Include those that have readmitted and are still in your program. Omit those that withdrew and did not readmit. Click Save to finalize the calculations. Our students have completed the program and have graduated. Click the Graduate Licensure Data Entry button. Enter the beginning cohort that is graduating. The list for this cohort will open. Notice that three students are highlighted. This indicates that these students withdrew at some time in the program and will not be graduating with their beginning cohort. To record the graduations, go to the graduation field and enter the graduating term or semester. Also select the graduating pathway or tract if applicable. The options are traditional, accelerated, and alternate pathway. You may also enter your own pathway designation. You can quickly add the graduating term or semester by either manual entry or by copying and pasting this information into the graduation field. Then enter the graduating pathway or tract by selecting from the drop-down or by simply typing in the first letter of the pathway and ProStats Advantage will automatically fill in the information. Click Save to update the calculations. We also need to include the percentage in which our students completed the program. Check the checkboxes under the graduated 100% field. Remember to omit for those students who have withdrawn and readmitted. We will complete their information upon graduation. Again, click Save to update the calculations. The students have begun taking their licensure exams and we need to record this information. Begin by clicking the checkbox associated with the student's results. If the student has passed on either their first, second, or subsequent attempt, we also need to check the checkbox for licensure pass overall. You can also record the date in which the student's license was issued if needed. Simply add the information as you receive notifications. ProStats Advantage will maintain this information and update as additional information is added.
notice that our calculations have been updated at the bottom of the form. We now have a complete breakdown of our student's graduation, completion rate, and licensure pass rate. ProStat's Advantage gives you both the first-time pass rate as well as overall pass rate for this beginning cohort. Now we want to look at our graduating cohort as a group. Click on the Graduating Cohort Statistics form. Enter the graduating cohort that we want to view. You can enter up to two cohorts, but for this example, we only want to look at spring of 2024. We recognize that there are only 17 graduates when we know we had 19 students who graduated this term. There are two students who readmitted from a previous semester and graduated with this cohort. Close the form and open the student tracking form. We have identified the readmitted students. Selecting the individual students, we can now update their graduation information. Note that these students are readmitted and will have a graduation rate of 150%. We can verify the student's information at this point to ensure that their progression in our program has been properly recorded. Close the student tracking form and open the graduating cohort statistics form. Once again entering the spring 2024 graduating cohort only. Notice that two students' names are highlighted. This shows that the students who withdrew and readmitted are now included in the appropriate graduating cohort. Looking at the 12-month retention calculation, we can see that an error has been made. At this point, we can correct any errors made in previous entries. Review the entire graduating cohort and make corrections as needed. At this point, the calculations for withdrawals and readmissions, graduation rate and licensure rate have been completed for this beginning cohort. All that is left is employment information. Select the Graduate Employment Entry button. Enter the graduating cohort to view the list of graduates. You can record either employed at either 6 months or 12 months or both by checking the checkboxes. The licensure passed box to the far right indicates if the student had passed their licensure exam. Do not record employment for those who have not yet passed their exam. Click Save to update the calculations at the bottom of the form. The Where Employed field is provided to maintain additional information on your graduate's employment. You can either list the specific institution where the graduate is employed or the type of employment the student in. This field is optional and can be used to maintain additional information on graduate employment. You have now completed an entire cohort's progression, graduation, and employment associated with your program. Return to the graduating cohort statistics form to see the completed statistics for this cohort. To access the demographic reports, click on the Demographics button. There are four reports that calculate by both beginning cohort and graduating cohort. The first two show student details, while the last two are summaries of the cohort demographic information. All of the reports print to PDF and can be saved, emailed, or printed in hard copy format.
All of the Student Achievement Outcomes Statistics reports are accessed via the Reports button. There are 13 reports available. The first, the statistics for a single beginning cohort. The second is based on the graduating cohort, broken down by individual pathway or tract with cumulative statistics for the graduating term. The accreditation report gives you both detailed and summary information for up to four beginning cohorts. Based upon which cohorts you enter you can calculate statistics for either a calendar or academic year. By entering specific cohorts, you can calculate to meet either national or local accreditation requirements. Graduate employment reports are calculated by graduating term or semester and show both individual beginning cohort and cumulative statistics. To aid in providing clinical facilities with the information needed to set your students up for clinicals, we have included a student list with the information needed by the clinical facilities. There are four reports calculated by academic year. Each provide either detailed information or a summary. Based on the information requested and submitted, the reports calculate your student's statistics for each beginning cohort and cumulative for each academic year. This provides you with a range of capabilities for analyzing the data entered. If you wish to only look at a range of academic years analysis, ProStats Advantage provides that report as well. The AY Comparison Report provides you with complete academic year statistics allowing you to easily see the changes over a series of academic years. The Attrition Report provides you with the attrition rate for your program, both by beginning cohort and beginning academic year. We have added three reports covering withdrawals and readmissions to your program. Based upon the information entered, the reports provide you with a more specific view of the withdrawals and readmissions. The reports also provide you with the statistical analysis of reason for exit, either academic, personal, or other. The reports will allow you to more thoroughly evaluate what is happening in your program concerning withdrawals and readmissions. The third of the withdrawal reports provides you with all of the withdrawals that have taken place since you began using ProStats Advantage. This report provides you with a good overview of all of your withdrawals and readmissions. As you can see the 13 reports included in ProStats Advantage cover basically all configurations of your students from beginning to graduating cohort. These reports provide you with the much-needed statistics for accreditation, program reporting, and grant writing. To simplify, we have added reports explained. Here, you can read in more detail what each report contains and calculates for you. If you would like additional information or an online demonstration, contact us at info at hpes-llc.com. ProStats Advantage is sold via program licensure. As such, there are no additional costs or fees. Contact us at info at hpes-llc.com.